see that right there. That's where it froze when you checked your glasses. <laughs> oh, it got real big. I know. I can't stand when it's big. See, it changed again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Gosh, only knows where it's getting frozen. See, it zooms in on this. I like it better when it was farther away. Yeah. I don't like when it zooms, zooms, zooms. Thursday. Hey peeps, how's everybody doing? How is it out there? How is everybody? I know everybody's out enjoying this beautiful weather. Allergies be damned. You're still going to enjoy it, right? Hey Linda, how are you? How's everybody doing? How's it out there in Facebook land? It is a beautiful day. I am a mess. <laughs> I really am. My shirt is all crooked and my hair is a mess. And I do look in the mirror before I come on here. But anywho, so hopefully every, everybody is doing well. Hi, Donna. Well, I'm feeling, feeling fierce and fabulous. All oh, right, you go, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so much. <laughs> Hi, Mary from Brick. Hello, everybody. Sure is calling. It sure is, Linda. And you guys have a well, great. And actually, great. I saw tomorrow is supposed to be. Gorgeous, yeah. like almost 80 degrees. Oh so anybody that can make hi, it down Linda. to the shore. Oh. Oh, hi, Kathy. Linda hi, Pedrizzi. Linda. Hello. Yes, the shore is definitely calling, though. Need to dip my toes in the sand. Senta, I got to talk to you today. Hi, Senta. Hi. Oh, I'm so happy to see you guys on here. Um, it is beautiful. Like I said, allergies be damned. We're going to enjoy this weather. They've been in full force, and I know many people are suffering with them. Chase included. He's been miserable. Um, I've had allergies since I was seven, and they usually say you outgrow them. Well, somebody forgot to tell my body that. They got because worse. <laughs> I have not outgrown them, and they just seemed, some years are worse hey, than Helen. others, but this year is probably one of the all-time worst. They started in the beginning of March, and I get the runny eyes, the stuffy nose, the itching of the roof of my mouth. Oh, and, Debbie's rubbing it in, though. It's uh, 80s where she is. Debbie, log off. <laughs> but then you can't use the fireplace. Are you using the fireplace at least? <laughs> I would anyway. I'll turn the air conditioning on and I'll turn the fireplace on. Um, allergy, but allergies have been bad. So Chase yeah. has been on medicine for weeks. Um, and his eyes were terrible this week. He begged me for eye drops. My seven-year-old begged me for eye drops. So you know <laughs> it was bad. All right. As long as you have the wine, Debbie. And for those of you, I saw some new names on here that I did not recognize. I'm Allison. And I'm Jim. And we are coming to you live uh, with lots of fun stuff in store tonight. No fireplace? Okay, well, it's 80 degrees. You, you don't need it. Uh, the wine will warm you up, Debbie. <laughs> um, and then Kevin will be behind the scenes. He'll mark your comments off as, red, as light once he uh, comments, once he sees them. You know what I mean. <laughs> but anywho, but thank you for joining us. We have lots of fun stuff today. We have some trivia questions for you too, um, but we also have lots of um, items to share with you and cool prizes. Cool prizes. Yeah, doing things a little bit different today. Um, Plank, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. <laughs> Plinko took a break today, so we're, we're we're skipping Plinko this week. Hi, Denise. So I'm so happy to see so many people on here tonight. This is fabulous. So for those of you that are new and joining us, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, we do go through a lot of different items and fabrics and notions and patterns and models. and We have a plethora of um, items to share with you. And we also have fun and games while we're doing it. Uh, I get a little slap happy and tired. Today is an exceptionally long day. <laughs> um, we, had, we actually had to do a judging this morning. Um, it's a local group, and it's not all cross-stitch and needlepoint. It's all hobbies, from mm -hmm. painting to photography to, to baking. Planting um, and gardening. And it's silk really floral arrangement. cool. Each person or each member, I guess, of this group, they can submit something in different categories. So for a few years now, I've had the opportunity to go and okay. judge. And it's really cool because you... 
I, I want to say everything is fantastic. Yeah. And, but at the same time, you have to look at what people put into each item that they've submitted. And there's so. even like diamond dot submissions, yeah. which is right up my alley. Um, knitting and crocheting. And like I said, photography is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but everything, macrame mm -hmm. and like all different. And we're kind of usually asked to do for cross-stitching needlepoint. But last year we because some of the judges didn't show up for whatever reason. We were asked to do the plant section and mm -hmm. flower making. So, again, I was joking that last year that happened. It happened again this yeah. year. So <laughs> Allison went with me yep. this year, and we cute. got to do flower arranging, real-life Beautiful plants. orchid plant, a beautiful so orchid it, plant. It's cool. It really is cool. And then they, they give their feedback because as judges, we then leave, and they have their meeting, and they give the feedback to the – entry yeah. winners and i don't i don't know what the prizes go for i've never asked them no. what they actually get but it's just nice to see everybody submit i've always wanted to do that here at the store have everybody submit project and not only do we judge but we have the incoming customers drop mm, who vote, should win vote. and vote and then have a it'll we'll do it we'll do it oh but, that might be because there's idea. so yeah. many you know you guys as needle pointers and cross stitchers your work is incredible and i just think everybody should see it <laughs> yeah it is and it's a lot of time it's time consuming you know right needlepoint and needle and cross stitch is not a cheap hobby so you guys put a lot of time and effort into those projects for sure so they're, they're works, of, works of art they truly are they really are but that that was it was cute so but that was 8 30 this morning we were out and about um driving up there and lots of traffic lots of traffic on 287 but we're here we're, we're here now it be a late, but it's a late night. So if I get slap happy and tired, that's why. <laughs> There's nothing special in my glass. It's just because I'm I'm tired, <laughs> and it starts to hit me at a certain time. You'll see the downfall. <laughs> Allison gets tired, and I get hungry. <laughs> well, usually I'm hungry too, but I did eat today, so hopefully I won't be so hungry. Hopefully you won't hear my stomach growling. Um, but just to let you know, for anybody that's new, that uh, how this works, um, every item that I'm going to share with you is um, going to be assigned a number. If there's an item you would like to purchase, please comment that item number in the comments. Once you see a blue check mark, you know that we've seen your comment and then it's recorded on our end. If it is your first time uh, purchasing from us, please private message us your email address and your shipping address. Um, that'll help invoicing next week go smoother. I won't have to wait for you. You won't have to wait for me. Um, it'll be easy peasy. Um, also, there'll be everything will be discounted 15% tonight. Unless you are an ND Savers member, then you do get um, your 25%. So I'm gonna when I show you the product, it's gonna be the regular price. That's gonna be before the discount. Um, also, we may have some items that are special priced. That means they're already deeply discounted, so no further discounts will apply. Um, but they we always have those items. I have a stack of them. Yes. For you. So you'll, those will be fun. <laughs> Um, and also, if you're new visiting us, please make sure you check out our Flash out Sale albums that we usually post um, between Saturday and Sundays. Um, and there's a lot of good deals on there, too. If you have a chance and are able to look back through um, the albums, there's a lot of older just cross-stitch magazines and one issue of each we have. So there's a lot of other items that you won't see here tonight that will be only in the Flash Sale that we post. So you feel free to check back on last weekend's sale and see if there's anything that uh, you would like or the weekend before. I might be, I might still have stuff left from the weekend before, but just to give you a heads up on that. So I think, um, I oh, think, and Oh, everybody that oh, orders yeah, yeah. tonight, every order tonight, every, every order gets uh, one of these Jeanette Cruz designs. This is poppies and polka dots. So, and they show you a gazillion different ways to, finish from frame pieces to afghans to towels stitch bands so you get one of those every order and everybody that places this order. i actually forgot we had this leaflet um we had originally designed them to go on bags but somebody at one of the shows i saw it was framed they did a really cool frame with i think it was the patriotic one so everybody gets one of those and the designs are really cool so it's, you can stitch it on whatever you'd like. I think my favorite one. I Ooh, love the I heart. Love that. That's really pretty. The heart is my favorite. That'd be pretty just as a frame piece in itself. Yeah. And then there's the... Um, oh, I can picture that in pastels. Yeah. And you have this... Oh, let it snow. The snowman. And then the apples. Yeah. So, so there's four designs in this booklet. Hey, there's, Kristen. There's the oh. apples. 
Lady Kristen. Lady Strout. Lady Sorry. Strout is with us this evening. And then let it snow. So, again, so all of those will be included at no charge as a thank you from us to you. So thank enjoy. You. <laughs> and as always, happy stitching. So I think we're going to get this party started. Um, and we are going, like, I know we've been doing Thursdays for a while, um, but we are going to uh, alternate between Thursdays and Fridays. Yes. I know some, it's hard. Summer is hard. Fridays, I think, is, are not always easy for everybody if you're traveling on the weekend. So we're going to alternate. We're going to flip-flop. Hey, Brenda. Yeah. And actually, just also, hi, Brenda, so that you know, the shows will also change uh, because we've thought about where right now we, we come to you every other week. We may come to you every week, but one week will be a Thursday, one week will be a Friday. But they won't always be as long as they are on the nights that we're showing a lot of products to you. We want to incorporate a little more education into some of our shows where we talk about why some of the fabrics were created, the color selections that are available, what threads work well with certain products. So, you know, needles, there's a lot of questions as a shop that we get asked that, you know, somebody watching, you may know all of this, but there is history and there's reasons why a lot of the products that we carry were created. So we thought we would share that with you and then show you some of the designs that go with those products. So when we do alternate, that's what will happen. It won't be where it's all selling. There will be educational value yeah. to it. So and you learn fun with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Because we, we, have fun. we get asked, you know, endless mm -hmm. questions and I've been writing a lot of them down. You know, one, for example, was one woman and her friend were here in the shop and they were nicely arguing about hard anger that she said, no, you can only stitch it on 22 count, the traditional hard anger. And I didn't mean to jump in, but I wanted to say, your friend is correct. You can do hard anger on 18 okay. count. You can do it on 32 count. And her response to me was, since when? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think because there's a fabric called hard anger fabric. So yes. for a while, it was only, <laughs> Kristen, it was only like, it only was like 22 count hard anchor, 22 count hard yeah. anchor, 20 count, 22 count are, uh, yeah. fine areas. So like those were the, the, you know, it was 22 count. But yeah, you can do it on anything, especially linen too. And I think too. if you're a beginner hard anchor stitcher, it is actually easier if you started it on an 18 count or a 20 count plain weave because the threads yeah. are thicker, the fabric is sturdier, so it's easier for you to work with and see the threads that you're cutting. So. We'll share all of that with you in each week or every other week when yeah. we do those. It will be something different. Um, talking about linens or Aida cloth or the even weaves, which are technically called plain weaves. They're not always known as even weaves. Even weaves meaning threads are the same in both directions, but we'll get into that at another time. Yeah, well, more, so more education. There's a come. lot of things that we want to yeah. share. And, and for those of you that don't know, Jim has actually been in the industry for more than 30 years. So he has a... He has a lot of knowledge up there to share, a lot of fabrics that he can tell you when it came out, what it was used for, why it was discontinued, yeah. and all that fun stuff. So there's fabrics that, you know, he'll bring out, I'm like, I've never seen that before. Where did that come from? <laughs> and most people don't know that in when it comes to Aida cloth, which is where a lot of cross stitch began, Zweigart was the first company to make that product. But this is before things could be patented and you get registration. So when they marketed in this country, they were the first ones to bring that over. Wow. So had they put the patent or registration, they would have, they would have monopolized the industry. Wow. But again, this, it, there's so much history and I was forced to learn a lot of it working huh. for mm -hmm. them. But I also, as I've gotten older, I love that I now know mm -hmm. a lot of it, but you know, at some point I won't be here, so I have to pass it on. <laughs> and you always have to be taking notes too, because at any time there might be a trivia question that pops yes. up from the stuff that we've given you. Um, but that will be in our future uh, lives. So we'll, when that comes up, we'll uh, we'll tell you what you that you need to be paying much attention. So you, we may have a you know, were you paying really paying attention? Because we're going to ask you some questions later. <laughs> so there's a lot of fun to come, and yeah. I, I hope that you will enjoy it as much as we enjoy sharing it with you. So enough with that. More to come on that. Yes. yes don't, you don't want to spoil all no, this stuff that no. you know and, and spill it all now. I've been writing stuff down for like the last month, <laughs> month and a half. And I'm like, I'm, it's all going to just pull come out. out. <laughs> <laughs> and the industry, Madonna, is that the trivia question? 
<laughs> no, Kristen. Well, but, you know, it's funny because as Needleworkers Delight, we're actually getting ready to celebrate 30th anniversary. And Madonna is celebrating her 40th anniversary in the industry. So it's a big year for anniversaries. So yes. I do have to help incorporate her into what I do because she's a big part of my life. <laughs> So Madonna may be the answer, Kristen, I just, but just not to this question. <laughs> I just wish she backed a little bit of what I do since I back everything she does. I know, seriously. We, we push her albums on our lives. Hello? <laughs> Madonna, are you there? And, and probably half of my life's earnings has gone into <laughs> stuff Madonna. that, to her, she has it. <laughs> Some way, shape, or form. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's get this party started. Um, we have more to come. Like I said, there's more, more uh, lives with lots of information that we'll definitely be sharing with you but we love being able to bring this to you guys um in a way that kind of has evolved so oh happy wedding anniversary may 1st oh congratulations that's Aww. beautiful happy anniversary very nice that's awesome Ooh, 30 years is there a secret is there anything that we should know susan <laughs> please let us know <laughs> my mom and dad will be 54 when you're older uh, 53. than three. Yeah. No. How old am I? You're, I'll be 20. You'll be 20? No, I'll be 53. <laughs> so they're 54. 54. They'll be 54 years. And we will be celebrating our 25th wedding 25th. anniversary this yeah, year. Yeah, lots yeah. of anniversaries. And my mom always says, I haven't killed your father yet. <laughs> and she always says, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lots of patience. Happy wife, happy life. Just ask my husband. <laughs> That's that trip to Ireland, right, Kristen? <laughs> But yeah, it's it's every every relationship is different, so you have to kind of roll with it, right? But yeah, it's that's a very that's a very nice. I'm wishing you many many more. Okay, so yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, let's let's get let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna take you through some charts, uh, some old, some different, some new. Um, some you may never have seen before, some designers you may never even heard of before. Uh, and that's the other reason we like doing this too, because we get to put stuff in, in, uh, your face that, of stuff that you may not have seen before, you know, like, well, my thing has always been to expose everyone to everything. Yeah. You should always see what's available. Cause you never know. To you. And some of you have shops that you're near and may not carry everything here. We do try to carry a little bit of everything and everybody and we just have a lot. <laughs> we do. We do. But we're going to share it all with you because that's what we're here for. All right. So first up is a designer called Sister Lou Stitches. This is called the B Rules. So this is item number one. Um, aw. We stayed together to prove people wrong. They said it was. <laughs> that's very sweet. Congratulations on 45, Carol. That's very sweet. Um, this is Sister Lou St Stitches, the B Rules number one, and is $11.50. Again, that is the retail price. That is before any discounts will be applied. So many things to celebrate this year. That is fabulous. I just said time goes by so fast. Like, I still can't believe that we're celebrating 25 years. Like, I'm not, I, hi, Sharon. Um, there's no way I'm old enough to be celebrating 25 years. No, oh, and my the, son is wait, not turning 21 on Monday. I was just gonna say, and the other big thing is my little nephew, which is now six foot three, three, which I, by the way, I still call Munchkin, um, turns 21, and I look at him and I say, where did 21 years go? I don't know. Because he is still going to be forever my little munchkin even when he yeah. has munchkins of his own <laughs> i can't that's like throwing me for a loop if i'm not, hey, if i'm but, crying monday everybody's gonna know why because i'm he's 21. i may call them the munchkets the munchkets yeah when, okay. when he has kids <laughs> yes dear yeah that works too jackie <laughs> all right number two sister lou stitches summer senility i've lost my mind and am not looking for it pretty much <laughs> number two and that's twelve dollars move these over a little because they're a little slippery and they're sliding on me yeah just the, the years may go but we don't get any older sorry my nope. mind still says i'm 25 years old so <laughs> my body doesn't my body strongly disagrees with me and it is proven by every time i stand up from behind the desk my knees all they do is crack <laughs> it's terrible i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that they crack <laughs> i crack first thing in the morning <laughs> 
I crack all day long. Yeah, mine's first thing in the morning when I get it's elbows and knees crack. I'm like, oh my god, I need oil like the Tin Man. <laughs> well, what did, what was it? I say I crack so much, it's a shame I don't glow like a glow stick. <laughs> uh, Sister Lou stitches wings. In the midst of change, may you find wings you never knew you had. Number three, ten dollars and fifty cents. I love that thing. I love butterflies. Something's happened. Yeah. Don't look a day over twenty. Nope. <laughs> it's proven by the grays that you all see in the front here. <laughs> but yeah, so time flies. So enjoy every minute, right? And if that's loving your stitching, you know, that's then go for it. Like, have to enjoy it. Uh, hands on design. This is part of their block party. This is called Woof. And this does come with the felt for the top of the pin or top, top of the block. And on the bottom there is the full design. That is the full design of the block. Number four, ten dollars. Woof. Block party. Number two. That cute little baby, oh gosh. Number five, another um, hands on design. This is called House on a Hill. Also comes with the um, is it, what is that called? That pattern? Wolf's tooth? Wolf's? Never mind. Um, house on a hill. Spring. Come, came the spring. Number five, and this is ten dollars. There's a name for that pattern on this. I call it plaid. Felt. No, it's, <laughs> it's like, um, what is the name of it? Oh my god. I'll think of it later. Or I'll have to sit here and Google it while we're sitting here. Number six, hands on design. This is Humble Honey, $4. Humble Honey, number six. Number six, Humble Honey. So soccer season has begun. Are there any soccer moms out there? We're pretty intense, right? But he's only seven, so I still get intense. <laughs> I don't mean to, but I'm just trying to, you know, not intense, but sometimes our hands are in our pockets and we're not looking the right way. You know, like it's gonna he's gonna get hit with a ball or they're it's gonna miss and they're gonna get a goal because he usually plays defense. So I'm usually like, Chase, Chase. You can usually hear Allison, Chase, pay attention. <laughs> well, all, usually. Hands on design. This is Mad for Plaid. And you, I believe you do get all four designs in here. This is number seven, and this is $14. The soccer season is has started. I do think I need to get him into baseball, too, though. I think he's finally finding his, not that he didn't have coordination, but he's finding more confidence in, in uh, certain sports, which is fun to see as they grow. See, you start cracking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hands on design. Stitching is my heart's desire. Number eight. Stitching is my heart's desire. This is number eight dollars and it's number eight he left me he left me isn't that pretty does it pause let me see number nine hands on design you had me at flamingo ten dollars hey christine how are you you had me at Flamingo, number nine. I like those flamingos. 
And I also can't believe that we're almost to May. Going back to that whole time thing, Shane finishes his finals next week. So he will be officially on to becoming a senior in college, too. Kristen, you know how this goes. <laughs> Way too fast. Hands-on design beach, please. Ten, number ten, ten dollars. I know. Oh, wait, Brenda's on. Brenda, you got to give Fritz a hug and a kiss for me. I just love that little dog. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Whenever I message Brenda and she tells me about Fritz, <laughs> it just makes me want to get one. I'm like, I just what want. What kind of dog is he? He's a cutie. Okay, I know he's cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kristen, no, I can't believe it. Too fast. But it makes us proud, right, Kristen? They make us proud. Proud mamas. Number 11, hands-on design, Memorial Day, $10. Yeah, anything, you, Kristen, that's fine. I'll have, I'll have a pile for you. Aw, Fritz sends one back to all. Aww. What kind of dog is Fritz, Brenda? I'm just, I know. We love our babies, Kristen. And they'll always be our babies. No matter how tall they are. <laughs> Although I think two of them surpass you tall. Oh, yeah, that boy's strong. And he loves showing his muscles, muscles. which his dad likes to say, put those little chicken arms away. <laughs> but he uh, flexes them and says, to, Look at how much they've grown, Jim. I'm like, wow. A part chihuahua. And chihuahua. Oh, wow. So he has long hair then. He has a little bit of long hair. I, he's just so adorable. Cute. I, I told her she has a built-in well, built pounds. He has, she has a built-in babysitter. Aww. I just wish she lived closer. <laughs> Hands-on design. Stitch some happy. $8. Number 12. Stitch some happy. I did pull those two fabrics for you, too, already, Kristen, so I have them ready to come down to you. And the two project bags. Oh, we'll see them in June. We'll see Fritz in June. What's that one? Flower Power. Flower Power, yes. Hands-on design, Poppy Easter for the plaid all year. Number 13, and that's $8. I could take down my Easter decorations. I just realized I just took them off. <laughs> and light up Easter bunny in the window. <laughs> I, I put mine away when I was doing spring decorations last time. I actually think I totally ignored that they were still out. <laughs> I forgot they were still out. I was, I was putting flowers in the pots that came from the uh, house. And the woman walking like by that. walking her dog. Well, I have to do it at your house, too. She said, your house makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate planting. I hate it. Wow, how could you say that? I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. That's Because horrible. I'm old and I don't like sitting. My knees hurt in the grass. My The bugs and the. You just move them. No. <laughs> Hands on to I plant all year, 4th of July, number 14, 8. $8. So I like planting things that come back every year, and then I just have to pull the weeds. That is okay. I just want to, you know, it is, okay, I don't hate it. I do like it, but when it's hot, I can't deal with it. Because then I feel dirty and yucky with the bugs and everything. It's when it's hot, I, I think, is when I really dislike it. The most. <laughs> Hands-on design spring basket, $12. Number 15, hands-on design, spring basket, triple play pillows. And I have the, what, the, the pastas. They come up every year. I have uh, sedums, and we have, like, like, that grass, that wispy grass stuff, and well, the hostas are fun because the larger they grow, you can get in there and break out. We need to move because all, I had these little button-type flowers that would come up every year, and then Chase trampled them last year, and they didn't come back. And I actually didn't think they were perennials, but they wound up spreading a little bit, which I, yeah. so maybe they were perennials. Um, but now I have a 
space. So we need to put more yeah. pastas in there. I can fix that. Hands on design, the summer basket, number 16, $12. And I have these wispy things. Now I had one, it's like this wispy and it, it and when it, when it fully blooms, it's so pretty. And then at the end of summer, it gets punks, you know, like the punks that grow out of it. And I had one for the longest time it was, and I moved it and I didn't think it was going to come back. This thing has multiplied. Like I don't, didn't know that it would multiply. They started sprouting up everywhere. So we have them lined up against the fence, but now the one sprouted up in the middle of the playground. I'm like, where are these yeah. things coming from? I didn't know this was something that multiplied. <laughs> Hands on design, the winter basket, $12. Oh, roses on a trellis. That sounds pretty. Yeah. I love that. The deer is. Oh, really? So we don't, you know what? We're very lucky. I don't have deer in my area. Jim has them on the other side of the parkway by him, but they don't really eat your plants. When they get in the yard. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. The one year the, the mother oh, got Oh, I remember stuck. in the backyard. She ate every but hosta. But in the front, they don't eat your plants. No, because there's so many other things for them yeah. to eat. I'll never forget the first time I oh, walked I out my front step to go bring the garbage out. And it, I hear rustling in the bush, and I'm like, boy, it's awfully late for a squirrel to be in there. It was a deer, and it was, it was a big, big one. one, too. It popped its head up. It looked at me. I looked at it, and I ran back in the house. <laughs> and then I poked at it, and I'm like, you're not supposed to be in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but we don't really have them by my house, so they don't touch my hostas. Uh Hands on Design, Whale, Hello There. This is part of the Polar Plunge series, number 18, $8. Yeah, I think what scared me the most is I usually do have, there's deer all around, there's raccoons, because he comes and sits mm -hmm. and eats in my garbage Ricky. can. Ricky, I named Ricky him Ricky Raccoon, Raccoon if anybody remembers. Mm -hmm. Um, oh my but, gosh. Okay. Again, Becky, last time you were on, you guys were having some crazy weather. Well, stay um, safe. That's most important. So. I, you know, I did see on the news this morning, they were saying moving through the Midwest was a whole nother line of really bad storms that were triggering tornadoes. My Sorry goodness. about that. Yeah, just stay safe. Again, that's most yeah. important. My poor thing. Hands on design, Wally the Walrus. Eight dollars. You started saying something else, and I cut you off. No, Ricky Raccoon. Oh, Ricky Raccoon. Uh, but the thing was a fox. Uh, and in my living room, I leave What's the the, the uh, back door. I have this massive blind. Well, I leave it open, and I saw all the lights on my porch come on. And I saw this thing walk by, and I'm like, oh, that's a skinny dog. He really needs food. <laughs> so I poked my head out. You know, stupid me. And it was a fox. And I closed the door real fast. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm waiting for. Bambi to come next. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on design. Polar Bear Peak, $8. Number 20. Polar Bear Peak. And I don't really have too many things. I can't, we have cats around our house. Every now and then there's one. And they're feral. They don't come near you. There's one or two that I've seen. One has a stubby tail. I just And she looks really fuzzy. I just want to pet her, but she won't come close enough. She looks like she's been through her a lot, though. I feel yeah. bad for her. Dirty Annie's cat hair. Don't care. And this comes with a cute little mouse charm. Eight ninety five. Cat hair. Don't care. Number twenty one. Eight ninety five. Keep my cats. Yeah, we don't have any rabbits. The rabbits like were like frolicking all over our front lawn the other day, chasing each other. I think they were babies or young. Running all over. I used to have, I remember years ago, I had one rabbit I used to feed, and it would eat carrots. I would put it out, it yeah. would come and eat. These don't care. They just want to do what they want to do. I usually give mine lips. Mm -hmm. Whatever I had. If I, I don't finish it, I throw, throw it, it over the deck, and then I try to get away. Because I'm waiting to see if the babies come. Yeah. Dirty Annie's. Perfect. This also comes with the wooden heart button. This is ten ninety five. Perfect. There's the button. 
Look, I moved my hand. No, my hand is still the wrong way. Right here. Number 22. 1095. Today was Earth Day. Today is, is Earth Day, right? So, um, at school, they they have a garden at school. It's like their lower school garden. And every class has a little garden within the garden. So they had to de-weed the garden today. I thought they were going to plant stuff, but he, they had to they had to clean it up first. And he said, but Chase would know what to do because he's done that mm -hmm. with us. He pulls yeah. weeds. But he said, there was so many bugs. <laughs> Seems like me. He goes, Mommy, there was a spider as big as my thumb. <laughs> I said, well, I would be running the other way. <laughs> Dirty Annie's. This is called Peachy. $10. Peachy, number 23. $10. That garden has actually been declared a but um, a butterfly garden. Oh. You get lots, and they every year they release the butterflies, which is pretty cool. Peachy number twenty three. Dirty Annie's pineapple welcome twelve ninety five. I really like this one. Pineapple welcome number twenty four. That would look really pretty. Framed in a dining room. Because I picture something like that in a dining room or a sitting area. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to have rain for a while. Sa Saturday night. Oh, Saturday now? Yeah, okay. Saturday and into Sunday is when it's going to rain. But I think we're below. We've only had two days of rain this month. Mm -hmm. well, that's okay. We made up for it before. Dirty Annie's marriage. When dating goes too far. Eleven dollars. There's so many loud cars out here. <laughs> Number twenty-five. Marriage. When dating goes too far. Number twenty-five. Number twenty-six. The blue flower. Summer acorns. Five ninety-five. Summer Acorns, number 26, 595. I'm sorry, that's number 26, and it's 595. Number 27, the blue flower, Language of Flowers, and this is Friendship, $10. I do. Okay. Number 27. It gives me number too much. <laughs> Language of flowers. Friendship. Okay. Game time. All right. And because there's no Plinko, this is the prize. It's cute. Tell me bunny. this is not I cute. I know. It is cute. I love cute things. It kind of it matches the bunnies in the back. It actually does. It, it does. It was a whole yeah. set. So you get this little girl. Yes. It's you can more, put whatever yeah. you want inside. A little bunny basket. And then you also get bunnies in the garden chart. And this is 12, I believe. Yep, 12, 12 different bunnies. bunnies. So you can stitch it as big bunnies or see the framed piece as little tiny bunnies. Or you ornaments. can stitch them as ornaments. Easter ornaments. So anything you want. So you get. This is your prize. But in order to obtain that prize. You have to you first have answer to a answer trivia question this correctly. Question. And I think a lot of it is about food. So. Yeah, we have a lot of food. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When and where was the chocolate chip cookie invented? Now, this is my trivia source. Uh, this is the answer that I have, and that's the answer that we're, we're going with. So the first person to guess correctly will get to win this adorable little bunny basket with the bunnies in the garden, the bunnies in the garden pattern. So when and where was the chocolate chip cookie invented? No, that's not what my... <laughs> well, wait. What is the second part of your answer, Carol? But it's where and when. Meaning what year? Yeah. 
You need the year? The year. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I don't have Toll House, but it is Massachusetts in the 1930s. So, Chris, you congratulations. I needed the year or two there, Carol. That's why I was, that's what I was kind of going for. Um, but yes, Chris, congratulations. You won this adorable bunny basket. And all these bunny designs, which you'll have about, we'll give you 60 days to get them all stitched up. Yeah. And there, <laughs> man, Massachusetts, 1930. So congratulations. That was um, Miss Chris Caparasso. And there's Chris Liz with her image. I think I tell you that every time you come on because the, your little dog there looks like my Roscoe. Oh, right. <laughs> he does look like Roscoe. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. We have more prizes to come guys and more games to play. So there's more fun to be had. Yes, I have a box of prizes. Yes. He has, <laughs> he has lots going on over here. All right. Congratulations, Chris. You won our first prize of the night. Isn't he cute? Look at how cute. I do have more of her. I was sitting with it like this. <laughs> She's actually very soft. The ears are so soft. All right. We have more stuff for you today. Uh, these are going to be specially priced items. Some of them are. Yeah, some are. Not all. But I will I, I will say that ahead of time. Um, so this first one is specially priced. This is uh, a Manny Dodonna pattern. This is Flowers Cottage Sewing Basket. Normally twenty-six dollars, um, but today is only twenty-six uh thirteen. That was only it's only twenty it's twenty-six dollars, but today it's only, it's only, only twenty-six. 26. <laughs> so this is Flowers Cottage Sewing Set number thirty-seven, so it's half off. So this is special price thirteen dollars. Number thirty-seven. These ears are so soft. I can't stop touching the ears now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Thirty-seven. And again, this is this is going to be half off. This one as well. This is also Manny Dodonna. This is flower pot pillows. Normally twenty dollars, only ten dollars. Number thirty-eight. Manny Dodonna flower pot pillows. Normally thirty-eight dollars. Special price. Oh my goodness. Normally twenty dollars. <laughs> special price today ten dollars. Number thirty-eight. Maybe I'll say it correctly. Oh my goodness, I totally messed up your numbers. Why? I pulled new numbers and I changed. We're going to have to skip 37 and 38. So make number 28, number 37. Number 28. And then 29 is number 38. And then number, the shaker, that's going to be number 28. That's going to start coming up. So i got to make you change all your numbers. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. I took two stacks of numbers, and I started pulling from the wrong stack. All right. Now we're going back to number 28. Sorry about that. Kevin, you got that? <laughs> I kind of screwed up two numbers there. Shaker sewing box, normally $25.50. $13 today. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So this is number 28. Sorry about that. I kind of jumped numbers. So Kevin, just jump ahead if you can. And then go back. I didn't realize it, but I didn't put them together. Okay. Shaker sewing box. Normally $25.50. Special price today, $13. There's another very small photo on the back, but it's still very hard to see. So that's number 28. Just the numbers are the same for you guys. We just had to adjust our size. Uh, blue pot pillow number twenty nine. Normally fifteen ninety five. Today is eight dollars. Number twenty nine. Blue pot pillow. Normally fifteen ninety five by Manny Dodonna. Today is twenty nine. Uh, number twenty nine is eight dollars. I told you what happened. I'm joking. <laughs> Only good thing is Chase does not have school tomorrow, so I do not have to get up at six o'clock. <laughs> Although, how much you want to bet Comet will wake me up at six tomorrow because I don't have to get up? That's how that's gonna work. 
Number 30 is Manny Dodonna, Un Eunice Tank Coral. I know I didn't say that. C38, yep. This is 38, Debbie. So Eunice, Tan Coral Sampler. I know I did not say that right. Normally $22.95, $12 today. This is number 30. This is quite large. This is actually 389 stitches by 265 stitches. This is a pretty big chart pack here. This is a number 30. At special price, $12. But it's a very pretty sampler. I love when there's a lot of floral in the samplers. Number 31, Autumn Sewing Basket. This comes with the wood handle for the sewing basket. Normally $26. Today is only $13. See if I can see what that says. It's too small to see. I thought, it might, I thought she may have had a color photo on the inside, but she didn't. So this is Autumn Sewing Basket, number 31, normally $26, includes the wood hardware, and is only $13. Number 31. $13. Number 32, this is um, regular, right? This is a mm -hmm. regular one. This one is the regular discount. This is Manny Donna Spring Pillow, $10. Number Number 33, this is another special priced item. This is Americana sewing set, normally $22.95. It's only $12, and this comes with the wooden button that says Old Glory. Number 33, special price, $12. Number 34, regular price, Manny Dodonna Patriotic Welcome Pillows, $15. Patriotic Welcome Pillows, number 34. $15. Another regular price, Manny Dodonna. This is Summer Sunshine Pillows. $17. I love the, the sunflowers. Summer Sunshine Pillow Set. Number 35. $17. Regular price. Regular discount. 15% off. Number 35. Number 36. Regular price item. Manny Donna Sounds of Freedom Pillows. $12. I'll tell you one thing, though. The, um... Italian designers do Americana and patriotic designs very well. Number 36, $12. They have some really beautiful patriotic designs. Number 39, Manny Dodonna. My Garden in Autumn Pillow, $10. Number 39, My Garden in Autumn Pillow. Number 
Okay, yeah. This is okay. This is a Manny Dodonna scissor fob. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so you can kind of see it. There's three of this one. It goes with the patriotic sets. Or just a regular scissor fob. Um, 995, number 40. We have three of these left. Number 40. Number 41 is another. This actually um, goes along with the precious sewing basket, but could just be a regular uh, scissor fob. This is Manny Dodonna scissor fob, $12. We have two of this one, number 41. Oops. $12, number 41. Number 42 is Lindy Stitches, Cut Your Thistles, $8. Cut Your Thistles, number 42. Number 43 is also Lindy Stitches. This is a mother's heart. A mother's heart is black and blue. Bruised from loving ever true. $9.95. Number 43. Number 44, Lindy Stitches. Poor and needy, $8. That's possible. Absolutely. We'll write it down and dye it up for you, Nicole. Number 44, $8. Number 45, Joan Elliott, The Dancing Butterfly Fairy, $16. Number 45, $16, The Dancing Butterfly Fairy from Joan Elliott. Number 45. Number 46, Joan Elliott, Lavender Fairy, $14. Oh, no worries. I'm glad you love it. It is a very bright and cheerful color for sure. Lavender Fairy, number 46. And that was $14. I love the purple. It's so pretty. Number 47 is Fairy of the Wind by Joan Elliott, $16. Number 47. Fairy of the Wind. Number 48, Fairy of the Clouds. Oh, she's so pretty too. $16. Aren't her colors pretty? Number 48, Fairy of the Clouds. Number 48. 
number 49, Dragonfly Fairy, also by Joan Elliott, $14. Dragonfly Fairy, number 49. Number 50 is Moon Dance. She's gorgeous too by Joan Elliott. $16. Aren't you pretty? That looks good on Midnight Fantasy. Or, you know what? Uh, Galaxy. Yeah. She looks pretty on that. Number 50. So pretty. Okay. 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 These are some special priced items. These are actual tablecloths, and they are already sewn for you. And I see these are sixty-seven by sixty-seven. Okay. They're big. Sixty-seven <laughs> by sixty-seven. So this and this has a stitchable band across the whole bottom. So you can stitch if you wanted to, but you don't have to. So this is black uh, checker tablecloth, 11 count, only $6, normally $30. Um, normally $30. This is black checkered with this 11 count banding that you can stitch on that goes all the way around the whole tablecloth. Number 51, only $6. And how many? Oh, yeah. It's not just yeah. one. Okay. No, I have quite a few. So that's number 51, and that is $6. The, like, can I tell you, I have this fabric in a different um, one of these I have at home. I use it all the time and like on my big dining room table because it was nice and long. I was able to get it nice and long. It's, what I have is not stitchable. I can't remember which one. That's one of the damasks, I think. Yeah. But they're nice and heavy duty. They wash nice, too. Yeah, I was going to say these... If you wash yeah. them in the machine, they hold up beautifully Aww. because the fabric <laughs> itself is all cotton. Yeah, and they, they wash and, nice. And you put it in cool water in the machine. And in fact, my mom, she's thrown it in the dryer. Mm -hmm. and usually I say, don't, oh, I do it. don't throw. I throw mine know, these, in. And it's, it works so yeah. fine. The only problem was I, uh, mine I didn't have finished. So the first time I washed it. Oh, the edge is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> so I had. <laughs> so, but that's, that was my learn. That was my issue i didn't re i didn't remember that um same yes okay yeah. so this is now the blue apple tablecloth same size they are very nice quality i'm glad you're enjoying it nicole so this is number 52 this is blue apples uh, checkered and again this is this is stitchable here this is all stitchable so this is number 52 and it's also six dollars um the checkered one i don't the checkered, I do have a, pink, there, Kristen. There's coming a pink up. one coming. Yeah. So this is number fifty-two, and this is apple tablecloth. Only six bucks. Number fifty-three. This is floral in pink, and it also has the eleven-count banding that goes all the way around. I said these are these are heavy. These are nice quality tablecloths. Number 53, also $6. The size is, what did you say the size was? Uh, it should be 67 by 67. There you go, Tim. That's number 53, and that's $6. And if you Can choose. You hard <laughs> I, I think you're a little obsessed, Kristen. <laughs> This is and if you choose not to stitch on yeah, you it, don't have to. it's really cool. I know like in the summertime, like if, if I sit outside, if I make my parents eat it, I've thrown one of these over the table. Yeah. And I just put it on and then when we're done, I throw it in the washer. Mm -hmm. they're, <laughs> they're nice. That's number 50. This, this is pink floral. Number 54 is the taupe floral. So again, these are normally thirty dollars. <laughs> I think I think your hard anger happy, Kristen. <laughs> Number fifty-four. So this is the taupe, 
again, there is a stitchable band, but if you didn't stitch on it, you wouldn't know that it's not stitched. It's just part of the design. So you don't have to um, stitch on these. This is number 54, and this one's $6. This is the taupe floral. Oh, good, Nicole. Then number to Kristen, this is the pink floral, the the pink checkered one, number fifty five, six dollars. This is the pink checkered, number fifty five, six dollars. I I figured that's what you meant, Brenda. You're good. Um, Kristen is hardly unhappy. I know she wants to hard anger everything. <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed, which is a good thing. So this is the as pink long as you're happy. Yes, and she's becoming she's very good at it. I want to see Kristen. I you have to send me a picture of the one that you were doing with the yellow fabric. Did you finish that one that it was supposed to be like a window? Was that like a window? Yeah. We, you have to send me that one. I want to see what that one looks like. I'm excited about the one that you're going to do on the gardenia. She's I think she started which, it already. Which is that 20 count with the the lines mm -hmm. woven in, that's going to look really cool. And then this is heart in the color taupe. And this one is 55 by 55. This one is 55 by 55. So this is 20. This is number 56. I have my notes. And it's also $6? Yep. $6. So this is 55 by 55. Oh, you didn't start it yet. Okay. 56. And this is the heart taupe. $6. Well, I think it's awesome that you love doing hard air because it can be daunting and scary and you have definitely uh, mastered that challenge. So I'm very proud of you, Kristen. But you guys sent me a picture of that one. I want to see it because that was the first one you started to continue in the book. They give you a corner and tell you to figure it out. <laughs> well, I like to see the progress you've made anyway. I want to see what you've done. Game time. All right, we have another game for you guys. Oh, yeah. Oops. She's in the plastic. Yeah. <laughs> and another bunny's in the garden. So you get another bunny basket. And that can be yours if you answer this correctly. <laughs> another trivia question. Where was the cheeseburger born? <laughs> Seriously, my trivia page I found, whatever the answer was, that's what I was going with. Some of these I did double check. Um, but where was the cheeseburger born? First person to guess correctly wins the bunny basket and the bunnies in the garden pattern. Where was the cheeseburger And when born? the bunny rabbit has babies in my backyard, I will send you a <laughs> real bunny. <laughs> I haven't had baby bunnies in a while. Not California. Not according to my trivia answers anyway. Nope, that... Oh, a lot of California. Maybe there's another. Oh, 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 no, no, no. That's not where my answer said. My trivia, anyway. I can give you the link if you'd like. But no, not Germany. Pasadena. Wow, I, so there must be conflict, conflicting answers on this question. Um, but that's not what mine told me. And it's someplace I would never have thought of. Mm, not Germany either. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll just guess random places and we'll see who guesses the right the first answer I got. <laughs> it is a state in the United States, not New York. Colorado. That's it, Carol. Colorado. That's what my trivia told me, so that's the answer I'm sticking with. So uh, but congratulations. You're you, bunny in a bag in a basket is and bunnies in the car. I, I didn't look up what that's one of them I didn't look up more into it but i did you know i did google but um that was on my trivia question it said colorado which i thought was kind of odd so i do want i did want to look more into that answer because i would have thought it would have been a much more coast kind of thing yeah. but yeah i never know and why germany i wonder why germany was coming up for a cheeseburger that's interesting all right and then you also won bunnies in the garden they're gonna hop over to you carol congratulations congratulations Pasadena, a lot of California. I'm going to have to check that out. All right, so now we have some Zweigert needlework leaflets, pamphlets. 
uh, with patterns. These are all going to be special priced. Um, so this has this one has alphabets. It has flowers. I love <coughs> I love the butterflies in this one. They're really colorful. I like the poppies. Yeah, um, but the other thing. Oh, I because of Hamburg, cool. Germany. <laughs> oh, true. The alphabet that you get with. This one, I love the color on it. That's funny. I guess Google was all over the place. <laughs> there's flowers. The poppies, the poppies, poppies make me sleepy. Those are the boss. And I thought there was chickens. I saw them before. Yep, chickens. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chickens. chickens. So this is $2, number 57. So you get quite a few designs in here for two bucks. Can't beat it. Number 57 and is $2. I like the alphabet. I like having different alphabets to stitch because you never know when you're going to want to monogram something or or personalize something. So that's oh, two dollars upside down. Next up is another needlework ideas booklet. This is more um, baby kind of patterns. Block alphabet though. Again, another great uh, alphabet to have on hand if you do need to personalize something baby. So this is number 58, and this is also $2. Number 58, $2. Number 59, another Zweigert Needlework Ideas booklet. This is another kind of birth sampler with clowns and um, almost like nursery rhymes a little bit. Maybe not nursery rhymes. Maybe I just misinterpreted the photo. Uh, but I'll show you all the pictures. So this is the one on the front. This is the one on the back. And here's the one on the inside too. There's all different designs for some banding. So this is number 59 and it's two dollars as well. Number 59, two dollars. Yeah, my eyes are tearing terribly with these allergies though. And I don't usually have allergies, but my eyes won't stop tearing. Number 60, another Needlework Ideas booklet. This looks like olives, olive branches. And is that lavender? It looks like la maybe lavender. Yeah, that one I like because of borders. Yeah. If you're looking for small designs. And actually a lot of these would fit on those tablecloths that we have. Oh, the Born Home. Isn't this Born Home? Yes. Yeah. We had Born Home a couple weeks ago on our lives yeah. with the navy and very pretty. So this actually will go if anybody purchased those Born but I mean, Home. These designs will fit. Oh, on, on those tablecloths. Oh, on the tablecloths. Because they're narrow. So long. these, yeah, these would fit on there too. I was thinking of the Born Home too, but not this. Oh. Number sixty, and that's two dollars. Oh my goodness, I can't turn the. Two. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> everything is backwards my, like this everything is reversed from what you see because you see it the right way so when I'm moving my hand I'm moving the wrong hand in the wrong direction <laughs> sometimes it's more challenging than other ones uh, number 61 another Zweigert leaflet with dolls all dolls Sixty-one, and that was two dollars. Number sixty-two is another Zweigert leaflet. This is some smaller and 
actually these look like they might even fit on that banding too, some of this. Actually would look really pretty on the pink. Yeah. Cause that looks like it's only yeah, that would probably they're fit. different stitches. Yeah. This is number sixty one and is also two dollars. Actually it shows it on the back here. That's that floral right here. That's the, that pink floral design. That would look pretty cute on those tablecloths. Number 62. $2. Number 63. This one is only a dollar. This is some autumn designs with an alphabet too, which again, doesn't hurt to have lots of different fonts and alphabets. You never know when you're going to need those. I tell you, I can't tell you how many people actually do come in here looking for all different fonts yeah. <laughs> all the time. Um, number 63, because they want to personalize something. And um, I mean, there are leaflets, but there's so many that have just their own different fonts and, and alphabets that you can use to stitch. So it's nice to have that on hand if you need it. So that's number 63, only a dollar. Number 64 is also only a dollar. This is very um, um, indigenous, very Native American. Also a dollar, number 64. Only a dollar. Sixty-three. You could do it on Tula, Carol. Why not? You could stitch anything on anything. Um, you just need obviously more thread. But yeah, why not putting it on Tula? Sure. I'm trying to see if they don't really. This is not designed for anything. I mean, I think it was designed for like a floba. Um, but you can, yeah, you can definitely stitch it on anything, Carol. If you have the beige tula, that would look pretty too. On uh, number 65, this is called Vintage Flowers. This is only $2. Leaflet, Vintage Flowers, number 65. I just think the flower patterns themselves look cute. <clears throat> I think Carol actually ordered, what is $11.98? Floba, that was uh, 18 Carol. So the design in the pattern, Carol, was stitched on 18, but tool is 10 count, so you could definitely stitch it on, like I said, anything, but um, but the, in the design it was stitched on 18, on 18 count. This is number 65, and this is two dollars. Number 66, this is Spirit of Hope leaflet. This was stitched on an afghan and cloth or as a framed piece, which is very beautiful. Only two dollars. Number 66. Spirit of Hope. You're welcome. Globus like Rustigo, isn't it? Yeah, it has that yeah. green country look. Kind know? of potato look to it yeah. a little bit. Burlappy look, yeah. I would say. Uh, number 67 is New York Dreamer. This is called Love. $7. Number 67, Love. Number 68 is New York Dreamer. This is Sing, $7. Number 68 is a cute little collection, too. Number 69, New York Dreamer. This is Live. Number 69, Live. Number 70, 
Number 70, New York Dreamer, The Lord is My Shepherd, $10. Number 70, $10, The Lord is My Shepherd. Number 71, New York Dreamer, Bless This Farmhouse, $9. Number 71. You got it, Linda. Number 72 is New York Dreamer. This is springtime, $8. Number 72, springtime, $8. Number 73 is Primrose Cottage Spring House. Eight dollars, number seventy-three. Primrose Cottage Spring House. Number seventy-four, uh, Primrose Cottage May Flowers, five ninety-five. Number seventy-four, May Flowers by Primrose Cottage, five ninety-five. Number 75, July 9 Patch by Primrose, $6, number 75. Number 75, $6. Number 76, August 9 Patch, $6. Number 76. August 9th patch, $6. Number 77, Primrose Cottage. This is Be Nice, $9. Be Nice or Buzz Off. <laughs> Number 77, $9. Number 78, Primrose Cottage. This is A, B, C. That's $14. Number 78, Primrose Cottage. A, B, C. Number 79 is also Primrose. This is... Five rules, and this has a bonus chart in here. Twenty dollars. Five rules. Number seventy-nine. Five rules. Number. 70, I'm sorry, number 80 is also Primrose Cottage. This is Welcome to the North Pole. This is number 80 and it's $24. Hey, Mary. Welcome to the North Pole. Number 80, $24. Number 81, also Primrose Cottage. This is Halloween Letters, $14. Number 
number 81. Halloween letters, $14, number 81. Number 82, Primrose Cottage. This is Toil and Trouble, $14. Toil and Trouble, number 82. I love Halloween designs. I think they're, I love Christmas too, uh, but I love Halloween. But all the Buzzy B ones are really kind of cute yeah. too. There's so much cute stuff. I really like Halloween though. I know I'm not alone. And yeah. Halloween. <clears throat> I love the Halloween. I know. There's too many. Number 83. This is Home Sweet Haunted Home. $9. Number 83. Home Sweet Haunted Home. Number 84. Witch's Kitchen. $14. Number 84, Witch's Kitchen. Number 85, Tiny Modernist. This is called Day Signs. $12. Number 85. Number 85, Day Signs. Number 86, Tiny Modernist. This is Spring Wreath. That's very cute. Uh, $9. Number 86, Tiny Modernist, Spring Wreath. Sure I didn't mess up our numbers. Number 87, Tiny Modernist, The Little Mermaid Pin Cushion. The new Little Mermaid. When does that come out? That looks so it's good. It's in the movies now. Is it? It will be well, in the movies. Oh, not, it's not going right to Disney Plus or whatever? I don't know. Or maybe it's movies. I don't know. It looks good. I can't wait to see that. Number 87, Little Mermaid Pin Cushion. $8. Number 88, Tiny Modernist Goldilocks Pin Cushion, $8. Number 88. Number 88, Goldilocks. I'm trying to remember, I just watched something. With Goldilocks, and she was like, Oh my gosh, what did we just watch? Never mind, forget I said anything because I'm, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty Pin Cushion by Tiny Modernist, $89 and $8, number 89. Oh my gosh, what was it? It reminded me of that show we used to watch Once Upon a Time. I loved that show. Did that you guys watch cool. that? Yeah. I think it's streaming someplace too that you I would can love watch to it. watch that again. Yeah. It's funny how to take a show and want to rewatch it. I was a huge fan of Scandal mm -hmm. when that I was know on. You were. Yeah, that and and How to Get Away with Murder. Mm -hmm. But I would love to sit and watch Scandal all, all over, over again. again. Yeah, yes. it's been such a long time since I've seen Once Upon a Time. I think watch if I watch. I mean, it'll bring back. You know, you'll I'll remember. Yeah. But you won't remember all the details. No, so I I would like to. I think watch that again. Tiny Modernist. This is Summer House, and it's nine dollars because it's been a while. It's it's been off the air for a couple years now. It's funny that you say that because um, Reva was here you earlier. You watched Vanderpump. I'm behind in it. I'm a whole season behind, so it's on my DVR. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, there's some of them that have broken up, which I was actually disappointed because. Uh, some of the guys need to be slapped around a little well. bit because the the girls that are on the show, some of them are really nice. Yeah, but and the guys are jerks. Yeah, the yeah. guys were jerks. And I'm like, wow, you let that person slip through your yeah. fingers. 
But well, it's all for TV show too. Some of yeah. it, you know, they act know. different. Oh, she said it's getting good. I know. I they, keep seeing little snippets, and I'm like, I need to get caught up. People act <laughs> different when they're on camera. You know, I feel like they're not their true selves yeah. either. You know, or sometimes they let too much of their true self show. Yeah. Okay. So this is something interesting. We're going to show you now. These are actually um, button squares for. How do you explain it? They're they're 14 count Aida squares and they have the bias trim around them and the little loop in the corner so that you can take a button and pin it to any fabric that okay. would not be normally for cross stitch so this way if you had to wash the pillows you could and you just take your stitching piece and put off bows in the so there we have a leaflet that is, at Showed. one point they were called the moran button pillows but if you see the little and we call them aida plates you just place those plates on a fabric, and if you wanted to make them interchangeable for the seasons, uh, and not necessarily these designs, but anything you wanted to stitch on them, you could because they're they're pretty big in size. They are About 10? 11, eleven inches probably by eleven by eleven. Yeah. yeah, so you can get you know quite a few stitches in there because it's eleven by fourteen. So anything that's a hundred and 50 stitches and lower will fit perfectly on those. How fun is going to be, too? So this is cool. So this is one Oh, yes, it is, Chris. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to call me because we will talk. <laughs> <laughs> so this is with the gray trim. We have several different colors. So this is with gray trim. The gray sewn edge. So these are special. They're $3.50 each, special price. So this is number 91. This is the Ada 14 count pillow plate. This is, I'm going to call it. Yep, pillow um, plate. And like I said, all you need is buttons and a pillow. A, a, if you have a blank pillow you want to attach it to or anything that's to make it. To and as an example, to. like if you stitch something for winter, then you get four snowflake buttons or, and put it on. If you did something with a sunflower, then you get four sunflower buttons and pin and yeah. attach them to anything you want. You can have a lot of fun with them. So it's number 91, and that's $3.50. And again, this is with the gray trim and tie in the end. So that's number 91. Number 92, do you mind if I take them out? No, I don't care. 92, and you can, like I said, and change them. You know, you could have the gray could be um, winter. If I can open it. This one doesn't want to. Um, this one is like burgundy, so you can do a Christmas design on this one, or a fall, because so this is number 92, and this is also three, special price, $3.50. So this has the, the burgundy trim, number 92. I know I make a lot of noise when I play with the plastic. You guys get a lot of background. So $3.50, number 92 pillow plates and this is like maroon or ruby wine uh, this one is just ivory so this is kind of neutral this can go for any any um any holiday right any season whatever you want to stitch Not a nice floral piece so this is number 93 three dollars and fifty cents and this is with the ivory Trim. And the, the strings that you see, you they're so that you can make little bows. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, if you look, see the little loop is already there for you to put your button on. Different, right? They're really cool. And I have to be honest with you, I forgot we had them. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much stuff in this place. I know. There's quite a lot. Um, so this is number 94. This is like a sea green kind of aqua color. You got it, Linda. We're bringing lots of stuff to the shore for Linda. <laughs> Back up the truck for Linda. <laughs> Number 94. And Kristen. Kristen and Linda have a I have a loot that we're bringing on down. <laughs> Number 94, $3.50. This is like the aqua sea green. They're different. And it's like to make, make anything stitchable. And you can interchange it so you can wash it. Or interchange for the seasons, which is nice. And this is pink. What is that pop up over there? Must be the green. So this is pink, number 95. Oh, 
that would be nice, Callie. Give it a little aged look. Yes, yeah, all right. So this is number 95 and is pink, $3.50. Okay. And, and th that leaflet we showed you, if you wanted design ideas, well, there it is. <laughs> and these designs are only 140 stitches. So these designs fit on the Ada one. So if you wanted to use this as inspiration for these squares, be my guest. And like we said, anything that's 150 stitches and lower will fit well, perfect. And these are 140. So these will take up most of the square. Um, but so you get all four of these designs, number 96 and is $7.50. So you have winter, we have summer. I love that sunflower. We have spring and we have autumn. See, I think that one would look really nice with the burgundy trim. Cause yeah. I think that would look nice with the burgundy trim. But there's so many designs that mm -hmm. would fit on. Even oh, half, of, half of the tiny models yeah. we showed and, um, and primrose, they would all fit. So it's number 96 at $7.50. You know what other thing I like to say besides super cute? Awesome sauce. <laughs> I don't say it on here because it doesn't always fit. That's the other thing I like to say all the time. Awesome sauce. All right. I usually um, say awesome. Awesome sauce. No, I just say awesome or fabulous. Fabulous. But it would be fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> um, if you've ever stitched Prairie School or Santa's, uh, this is the fabric you would use. Um, this is Devosa 18 count khaki. Uh, this is number 97. This is a 19 by 20 inch and is special price $7 per piece. This is Devosa 18 count khaki, 19 by 20, $10.50, number 97. Did I say something wrong? No, I didn't. I think I <laughs> There's too many numbers there and I thought I said something wrong. So yes, this is this is Prairie School San, uh, Santa, right? This is what yeah. the, you, this yeah. is what you need. And it's a nice. It it's doesn't nice show. Soft. It looks browner there. I know. But it kind of has that khaki tone to it. When you pull it away, you can see. Yeah, it. I see it a little bit better. Yeah, it's a nice neutral. Game time. Oh, game time. This oh. time, you see the big bunny behind us. We have one of their children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. So she's still in her packaging with her little basket of flowers. And a bunnies in the garden leaflet. Bunnies in the garden leaflet too. All right, so, so you get bunnies. They're hot, gonna hop. It's all about spring today. Yeah. All right. So you get that if you and can answer this correctly. This question: uh, Where were French fries invented? <laughs> Cheeseburger, French fries, chocolate chip cookies. You know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> I don't know where. It's I'm all going. about the food. Home to dinner. <laughs> so who can answer this? And, uh, question correctly. First person wins. Hippity hoppity hoop over here. And bunnies in the garden. This I did not know. Hopefully it's, I guess, that's what I said, Brenda, but I was wrong. I said France too. <laughs> <laughs> According I, to my trivia, I was incorrect. I thought it was the French that made the French fry. <laughs> no, but it is Belgium. Congratulations, Debbie. Belgium. So he is happy to be coming home with you. Is that the boy? I think it's the boy, yes. Yeah, because the girl, yeah. she has a skirt. Yeah, yeah, lots of Belgians, but Bet, uh, Debbie was the first one to get the get it right on our end. So congratulations, congratulations. Debbie. I'm going to put tall bunny. I still I have more it. in my box. Here. Oh, we got a box full of goodies. <laughs> but it was Belgium. That, Like I said, I did not know until I Googled. So now I'll have to look up why or where exactly. Let me just write on here because I don't want these bunnies to get confused with who they're supposed to be going home with. Okay. All right. We don't want the wrong bunny to go home with the wrong person. They have to go to, to the correct adopted family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Getting slap happy, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right. We have some Ada squares. I know you guys love Ada squares. Um, so there's quite a few here. These are all the 11 by 11s. Um, and they're all Ada 14 counts. That's very loud cars going by. 
and they are 425 each. So 11 by 11, 8 of 14 count, all overdyed. So the first one up is called Purple Quartz. Number 98, 8 of 14 count, Purple Quartz, 11 by 11, $4.25 per split each. Number 99. These are fun to do. Smalls on, ornaments. These are nice to have in your stash if you need a, a quick stitch. Nice to have some overdyed vary, you know, in your stash. Because overdyes we know are expensive. So it's nice to have a variety in your stash without breaking the bank. So that was number 98. That was purple quartz, 8 of 14. Number 99, this is a nice one. This is one of my faves, too. This is Under the Sea. I always want to start singing I know. this song. <laughs> Under the Sea. Yeah, well, we have a little mermaid <laughs> theme going on here. So this is number 99. This is Under the Sea. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't it just take you there? So this is 11 by 11, 8 of 14 count, $4.25, number 99. And if you are an Aida sketcher and you love smalls, all these little small designs are coming up next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's number 99. So the question I get most of when people come in the store, is it Ada or is it Aida? And actually, it's whatever you thought it was. Both pronunciations are correct. Mm -hmm. Because if you were in Europe... That's why they say Aida. I say it both ways. But in America, it's, it was first started to say eight o'clock because it was aiding you with your cross stitch. See? So both pronunciations mm. are correct. So. Again, remember all this stuff. There might be quizzes <laughs> next time we see you. <laughs> all right. Next up, eight of 14, 14 count country blue. 11 by 11, $4.25. And this is before your discount, too. Number 100. 100, 8 of 14 count country blue, 11 by 11. I like that one better, don't you? Mm. Number 101 is hazelnut. Kevin, stay away. <laughs> uh, 8 of 14 count hazelnut, 11 by 11 square. A nice neutral. This is a nice, good color too, especially if you're doing a lot, anything with a lot of light colors. These would look nice. So this is number 101, 11 by 11, four dollars and 25 cents. Number 101, hazelnut. Number 102, sudden storm. I would love to see what you guys do, too, on these small pieces. Number 102, Ada, 14 count, right? Wouldn't you like yeah. to see what they do? You know, it's funny because through this method, we can't interact with you, see or hear you. I thought of doing a Zoom mm. with everyone. We pick a day, and you can then share yeah, we can all talk. With, with everyone stuff that you've stitched or um, chat. That'd be nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we were doing a lot of that during COVID, but mm -hmm. we stopped the Zooms. But because so many of you aren't able to come to the store, we don't get to see what you work mm -hmm. on. So a Zoom may be in your forecast. Absolutely. Sudden Storm, 11 by 11, number 102. Number 103, this is my jam, this one. Grape jam, that is. <laughs> I know, what is that show by Jimmy Fallon? That's my jam. That's my jam. That's my jam. So number 103 is Grape Jam, 8 of 14 count, 11 by 11. Awesome for them Halloween designs that we were looking at before. 11 by 11, $4.25, number 103. Um, and in case you guys missed it or anybody hopped on later, I don't know. I'm just going to reiterate. Everybody today is going to get this free leaflet. So everybody that places an order today and this free leaflet. Yeah. Everybody gets one of these. There's a lot of designs in there. Yes. Just so in case anybody missed it in the beginning. 
8 of 14 count blue mystery. Number 104. That's 11 by 11, and that's $4.25. Full, full, blue mystery, number 104. It's a nice deep blue. Number 105, this is Twixt and Tween. Twixt and Tween, number 105, 11 by 11, 8 of 14 count square, $4.25. Twixt and Tween. at the same time kind of color. Number 106, this is Raging Storm. Absolutely, Christine. We're actually going to probably be doing one every week. One Thursdays, one Fridays. 106, 11 by 11, $4.25, Raging Storm. So this has a little bit, it's hard to see, but there's a little bit of modeling in here um, with some like grayish tones. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's there. Very subtle. I like this one too. This is Mulberry Mix. This is a good color too. I'll just change this one. Number 107. Mulberry mix, 11 by 11, 8 of 14 count, $4.25. Number 108, 8 of 14 count, Blue Lagoon. Number 108. 11 by 11, $4.25, Blue Lagoon. Eleven by eleven. Eight of fourteen count. Number one oh nine is eight of fourteen count twilight pink, which is actually like a dusky kind of purple color. 8 of 14 count twilight pink, number 109, also 11 by 11, $4.25. Number 109. Number 110, 8 of 14 count, 11 by 11, woodland green. Number 110, 11 by 11 inch piece, $4.25. Number 110. Number 111, 8 of 14 count powder blue. It's a very nice light blue. Good for winter, summer, a nice summer design with butterflies. Number 111, powder blue, $4.25, 8 of 14. Number 112, and then 8 of 14 count chocolate vanilla swirl. Yummy, I want some ice cream. <laughs> So I'm not an ice cream person, but there used to be like a vanilla chocolate fudge one that I used to eat that reminds me of this. Number 112. Actually, you know what ice cream I really do like to eat is those little tiny, tiny Dixie cups with the wooden spoons. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a funny story. It's not really a funny story, but Jim don't like them wooden spoons. <laughs> oh, gosh. <no. laughs> For him, it's like clawing your fingernails down a chalkboard. Oh, I could feel it. I know, and I, I would torture him with the wooden spoon. That little 
So the thick. <laughs> <laughs> the wooden spoons or the wooden stirrers on the styrofoam yeah. cup. Well, and it always started because you remember when you and I would go to the doctors when you get your checkup mm, and they used the, to put that stick yeah, on, your on your tongue. tongue. Yeah, Ooh. they don't do that no more. No, but when they would do that, it started with that <laughs> dopey stick. <laughs> but I would, I'll torture him with the stick. Because <laughs> when it used to come when you were kids with the ice, yes, I couldn't oh. eat with it. Because the spray thing would bother me. So you hear? I would literally just lick it out of the, the container because I can't stand that little wood thing. <laughs> you hear his voice. With the <laughs> just thinking about it makes him yeah. cringe a little bit. Because when people would do it on the chalkboard, it didn't bother, they me. Didn't bother me. The wood stick. Not I have that stick. <laughs> no idea why. <laughs> but those I like, those little Dixie cups, though, with the chocolate and vanilla and yeah. the strawberry and vanilla. Those are so yummy. All right. More charts for you. Number 113, Annabella's All Things Cross Stitch, $20. Number 113, All Things Cross Stitch. You, oh, do you need popsicle sticks? What, with the wooden stick in the middle? Yeah, but when I get down low and there's a little bit of ice cream, I have a really hard time because then you have to. I, I usually don't let it get right to the very end because I start thinking about it. Because of Christina. So actually, me and Chase were having a conversation about that because they had ice cream for dessert this week at school. and But he said it was a popsicle, so he didn't eat it. But I haven't had a fudge pop in a very long time. He, like, I don't remember the last time I had a fudge pop. And I don't like chocolate flavored, like Italian ice or anything. But I liked fudge pops. They were really good. I haven't had one of those in forever. So now, this summer, I'm going to have to get fudge pops. <laughs> Number 114, Annabella's. This is Bella Board Tray Displays. $10. Number 114. Number 114. Cute, all the little mm -hmm. designs. $10. Number 115, Annabella, Spring in the Dough Bowl. $10. Number 115, Spring in the Dough, dough Bowl. I do like the ice pops in the plastic bag. Those look so great. I love the Italian ice cups too. Yeah. Remember chewing the paper when we got it from the the truck, the little Jimmy truck, or the I did not chew the paper. You didn't chew the paper. No, I did not <laughs> chew no paper. Am I the only one that chewed the cup after to, to suck out all the? I might have the licked juicy it. goodness that was still left in the cup. I may have licked it, but I didn't chew on no paper. <laughs> you didn't chew the no. I chewed the paper. Ew. Well, I didn't chew it, but I like sucked out Ew, all that's the. That's disgusting. <laughs> but I wasn't the only one. All my friends did it. We all did it. My friends didn't chew paper. <laughs> we didn't chew it. We sucked out all the juice because I just licked it. No, and then but I threw it, it, it kind of like went in the paper, so you kind of yeah. had to like. But you didn't get a paper taste in your mouth. No, it tasted like cherry or whatever the the ice flavor was. It was always in there. Remember how it was like in the paper? We all used to just like suck it out. Yes, I chewed paper. <laughs> Uh, Annabella's uh, springtime, uh, no, I'm sorry, spring on the farm, number 116, $12. But, you know, in all honesty, there's no, <laughs> sorry, Kristen, <laughs> there's no, um, there's no ice trucks that come around anymore. It's only ice cream or the ones with those pre-made pops. They don't have Italian ice trucks that come around anymore. And I would pick Italian ice over ice cream every single time. Am I the only one that did that? I guess I'm the only one that did that. <laughs> Annabella's All the Things Easter, $12. This is a really cute little picture of it. All the Things Easter, number 117. 
I don't know what we did when we were kids. <laughs> but now that I told you about that Scream truck they have, I get text messages in the morning and they say, Scream truck is going to be in your area between 4.30 and 6.30. And then you have to actually reserve an appointment. Oh, thanks, Christine. <laughs> um, they have you, have, you text them that you're interested and they will come to your house, but you have to pre-order what you want. And these are not just ice cream cones. This is like crazy sh cones, crazy shakes, crazy Sun sundaes. sundaes, like all different crazy stuff. Um, what'd you miss? Christine, I don't know what you missed. Sucking on the paper of the, of the Italian ice cups that used to come around. Um, and it's really elaborate ice cream, but isn't that pretty cool? Like that's in our area. I don't know if you guys have that in your area, but it's called a scream truck. Got to look it up. Annabella's simple smalls bumblebees, ten dollars. Number one eighteen. Simple smalls. See, I'm not the only one. Because <laughs> all the juice just sat in that cup. <laughs> Number one eighteen. Bumble, Simple Smalls Bumblebees, $10, number 118. I think it's pretty cool. Like you can pre-order ice cream now. And as soon as you get there and you pay ahead of time, so I don't even have to pay when I get there when he comes and he makes it. I think that's so awesome. Has anybody, like I have to go to a food truck thing. I've never been to one. Oh, I would love to. Just, just to see all, all these different things. Like my, for my son, uh, my older son, when he graduated, um, he was a COVID graduate, right? 2020. And we had prom at a, at a, a parent's house. The parents did this all together. And one parent had um, a candy truck come and they're able to fill up a whole bag and just take whatever candy they wanted off of the truck, which I thought was such a cute idea. It's really like checkout counter when you leave the food store on a truck that comes to your house for a party. That's really what it was. But I'm like, they have trucks for everything now. Um, Annabella's on my cutting board when life gets sour. Number 119, $10. When life gets sour, sweeten it with kindness. So I, I would have to go to like one of those food truck things. I've never been. St. John Vianney's, I think, had one last year. They might have it again this year. We'll have to check it out if they didn't do it already. Home Sweet Home, Annabella's, number 120, $10. Home Sweet Home. Number 120. Number 121. One, <laughs> 121. Warm winter wishes. $12. Warm winter wishes. Number 121. $12. I'm not going to cut. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Laura. <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> I like buying a lot. Okay. What do we got here, Jim? These are playful little bear fabrics. So they are not turned into anything. They're all over one yard. So I'll show you. So it's up to you to be creative to figure out what to do with it. So there's an area for needlework if you choose to. Otherwise, it's bears. Lots and lots of bears. Sleepy time bears. You can back this and turn it, it into a quilt. A quilt. You could. A pillow. Whatever you want. Yep. Um, so that's what it is. A diaper hanger. Uh -huh. you, if you are creative. You can have fun with it. But they're all over one yard. So. They're, it's usually anywhere from 40 inches by 67 because that's the width. So. so this is blue, Playtime Bears, number 122. And these are only $1.50 each. Only $1.50. Yeah, they're making fun of me, Laura. <laughs> He's making 
so the that. actually that one is dark blue. Oh, this is dark blue. Dark blue because there's a, there's a light blue coming up. So this is a little over a yard, sixty seven inches. You have a stitchable area, and you can, if you're creative, turn this into anything you would like. And you, if if you just want to quilt it or put a backing on it, a fleece backing, you can have a blanket. Use it as a blanket. So this is number one twenty two, and it's only a dollar fifty for the whole piece. That is a steal. Even if you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Something will come to you at some time. So number 122, $1.50. And then we have, look, you have the bear in the sailboat. You have a bear skiing, a bear eating ice cream and sucking the, the <laughs> cup from the Italian ice. Um, playing like, soccer in the moon. In the moon. It really is it's a, a cute. It's a cute fabric. Yeah. Um, I just I have to be honest with you. When I said okay to Germany to send it, because they said they had a little bit, I did not know I was going to get bolts and bolts and bolts and bolts and bolts and bolts and bolts. And bolts. So and I've run out of things to do with it. These are <laughs> cotton, yes, Debbie. I believe these are all cotton. Yes. So this is pink. Again. Dollar fifty for the whole piece, and pink is number one twenty three. A dollar fifty. This one. Let's see, there's a bear with balloons. All different cute stuff. So I said, even if you don't know what you want to do with it, for a dollar fifty for a whole piece, you can figure that out later. So number 123 is pink. And then number 124 is light blue. Light blue. Dollar fifty for the whole piece. Number 124. Light blue. towels or stockings or whatever you want. So that's number 124 is the light blue. Number 125 is actually antique white. Um, so it's harder to see the design, but you saw it on the rest, so you can kind of, this one's a lot more subtle. So this is number 125, also $1.50. Now this one's very rare. I don't really remember seeing it, no, an it, antique white. It actually never made it into the collection. It came afterwards. So it, yeah. yeah. I don't remember that. Now one. it just needs to go home with somebody. So that's number one twenty-five, and that's a dollar fifty for the whole thing. Number one twenty-six is green. Is, right it might be it, you yeah can reverse you can it. reverse it if you want it the dark side or if you want it to be where it's a lighter green I, I think it can be reversed. it reversed yeah so this is green again number 126 a dollar fifty number 126 a dollar fifty so that's the the green playtime bears and again this is 11 count stitchable area right there number 127 is the cut they call it maze I'll call it yellow um, actually this one's different that one has a really big yeah this has a very large stitching area so um, you can put an even bigger design in here this is a bigger design area than the others have and this is number 127, $1.50. Number 127. And that was maize or yellow. Or dark yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next up is just this one small piece of damask. It's a 10 by 21 inch piece. You know, 
If you put a piece of waste canvas behind this, yeah, you could stitch. You can stitch initials or a wedding date or something. Or do embroidery. Or embroidery, yeah. So the the very small little leaves and stuff where you see like all the little squares. This is all your where you can. It is stitchable. So this is just a ten by twenty one inch piece. I only have one. It's a dollar number one twenty eight. It's ivory. One twenty-eight, just a dollar. Looks more like an eggshell. Okay, so this is butterfly afghan. Is this wall hanging? It's actually yeah, it's a four panel. It's four panel, so this is actually this is butterfly. It's like the ten, so if you remember the tannin bomb, which is actually coming up next. This is the same style of afghan, but the border is actually springy um, butterflies. And that bunnies in the garden pattern I showed you before is actually stitched on the same fabric. So if anybody won that chart, this is the lavender. And it's a four panel. You can turn this into a wall hanging. Super simple to do. Number 129 and it's special price of $12. And this is in lavender. Butterfly Afghan, 18 count this is. Number 129, $12. Butterfly Afghan, super pretty. Now this is the tannin bomb in blue. Also a wall hanging, four panels, so you get four squares, and you can have this finished as a wall hanging. This is number one thirty. This is with the blue. Eighteen count, number one thirty. Also twelve dollars. Number one thirty. That's twelve dollars. Number 131. This is heart side afghan. What size is this? That is 23 by 55. So this is beige and red. 23 by 25 inch 55. piece. I'm sorry, 55 inch piece. And this is four. No. What count is this? 14, 14 count. So this is hard side, 14 count, 23 by 55 inch piece, number 131. I only have one that size, and it's $12. So this is red and beige, hard side, 14 count, 23 by 55. And then number 132, this is the same size, uh -huh. 23 by 55. This is a color that you cannot get anymore. Um, this is the dark green and beige, hard side, 14 count. So this is a 23 by 55 inch piece, number 123. We only have one, that's number 132. Fibers are on my nose a little bit. That's number 132 and that's $12. I pulled up strings when I <laughs> brought that over here. All right. All right, next up, number 133. This is a linen band and is 27 count. And it is white with yellow trim. Number 133. We have, I have two of these. They're two and a half inches wide. One yard cuts, and they're five dollars each. I only have two. This is twenty-seven count banding, two and a half inches wide, and I have two one yard cuts. And they're five dollars each. This 
that's really pretty fabric. Yeah. That's actually really pretty for like a country kitchen table. I like that. Very spring. Yeah, I'll show you when we get to it. We're not there yet. All right. Next up, this is Ada 14 count. This is what they called Star Cluster. Um, and this is white with antique gold. This actually is seven, nine by 29. So this is white with gold stars. I have two of these, $7. Honestly, if you sewed the sides, you could fit a wine bottle in here and tie off the top and you have a cute little gift bag for a wine bottle. Nine by 29. And I only say that because we actually have a design that we put cheers on here for and turned it into a wine bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A uh, wine bag. Yeah, for the bar wines. You saw that? Kristen, the blue check, right? That's what I was talking about. Did you, I think she, she caught a glimpse of it. This one? Yeah, no. put it down. <laughs> Not yet, Kristen. No sneak peeking. So this is number 134, and this is $7. We have two of these. Star Cluster 9 by 29 number 134. We have two and they're seven dollars each. I know I, if it's the same well that's what he had in his hand. It's very springy perfect for a nice little country nooky table. I don't know I'm really liking that fabric too. So that's number 134. So uh, this is this, this is the fabric Kristen that you're using for that Heart anger, but I didn't have any pre finished that were sewn off the edge. This is blue and white Gardini 20 count 14 by 70. This piece is so I only have one number 135 and it's $12. Gardini 17 by 30, $12. Number 135. Oh, <laughs> they see you. <laughs> Number 136, Miranda, 16 by 33 inch piece. This is 28 count, and this is natural. This would be a nice little runner. Little table runner. Have a small little table, half table. So this is number... 30, $136 and it's $10. We have three of these. We have three of these. It has a nice pattern to it too. It's very soft. I have a thing for the textures of some of these, you know. That's number 136 and that's $10. Uh, I have one more tablecloth. This is heart in the 11 count. This is 55 by 55, but this is in cream. So this is number 137. This is like the ones we showed you before with the 11 count stitchable banding on the bottom. We only have three on the cream one. The other one's in cream. So that's number 137, and that's six dollars. Do we have this on? On bolt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, these I have sewn up with the mm -hmm. tabletop, but I have not folded them. Okay, this is the fabric, Kristen, that you snuck a peek on. Naughty. Um, <laughs> this is, like, when he was holding it up and holding it out, I envisioned this in a really cute little bright kitchen. I pictured lemons on the table. Seriously, I envisioned all that when he held this up. I'm not kidding. It's a very cheery yeah. fabric. So this is just decorative um, fabric. It's Is it stitchable? I You can because it's based on it has some larger like, a, holes. like a 28 count uh, fabric. But it doesn't so have to be stitchable. No, you don't have to. You can do embroidery. You can put lace canvas to, to make it stitchable. To stitch on it. Um, so this is just decorative fabric or if you have something that you've stitched put that underneath it and show what you've done yeah or if you have actually if you have two this is a tabletop or size this is 35 by 35 but if you angle them mm -hmm. then you'll have a star pattern with your one table topper and then this underneath to kind of give accent underneath your stitch piece that's an idea 
So this is number 138 and it's $2 for a 35 by 35 inch piece. What's that? What is the width? 60. It's 67 inches. So then that would be a nice size tablecloth yeah. too. So then. if somebody did want this in a larger cut, we can accommodate because I do have it on the bolts. Yeah. So we could cut it and price it accordingly. I'm thinking this will be just a really pretty, pretty summer tablecloth. I'm serious with a bowl of lemons yeah. and the. Well, I have actually for mommy, she likes that. Curtains one. too. So I, I'm cutting one that's for our dining room table so that she could put it on. You put it on, yeah. but this would be pretty as curtains too. So it's 138. That's table topper 35 by 35. I'm really liking this. I may have to. Uh, Get some. <laughs> and that was two dollars. Did I say that? Two dollars. If you want larger piece, Mary, let me know. Like we can yeah, cut. Just like, tell us what size you want it to be. If because uh, it's sixty-seven inches wide, so if you need it to be by forty or by fifty-five, I can definitely do that for you. Kristen, same thing. Let me know how much you need. Like and if you have a tablecloth size. And then we'll cut it to the size you want, and then we'll surge the entire piece so that it doesn't fray on the way. Yeah, that would be nice. I, I may need a piece, too, just so you know. Yeah, I have, I have a okay. whole bolt of them. <laughs> I'm re I really like got inspired by that. Yeah. I when, hope I inspired you, too. <laughs> when, when I ordered it from Zweiger, I don't know what we were going to do with it. I, I think it was originally... When we had all the Annabelle, mm -hmm. we were going to use that as the base, and okay. then all the Annabelle colors were going to be on top oh, of it. Okay. But then they discontinued Annabelle, and then that defeated okay. the purpose for that well, fabric. I, it's very summery. I, I I got such pretty yeah. pretty uh, pretty inspiration for the shore. For the shore. Okay, yeah. Just send me a yeah. message, Mary. That's fine. What do you mean for the shore, Kristen? She wants everybody at the shore to have one. <laughs> Is that what you meant? <laughs> Um, if you tell me, well, you're not, you'll be there next week, so we can bring it down, but tell me what size you want. Um, and do you still want the table topper too? So Mary and Kristen, tell me if you want the table topper and the larger size or the table topper, nix it and only the larger size. Just make sure you clarify for me because I don't want to give you both if you don't need both. Yeah, Mary, no problem. All right. So these are table toppers. These are non-stitchable as well. These are already hemmed on the edges um, so they are finished but this too would be a nice accent underneath another stitched table topper because this is metallic so this is the punchkin dots but this is white with silver you can see the shine on the dots so this is white and silver these are 31 by 31 so number 139 and it's six dollars But again, it actually would be nice by itself too, but it'd be a nice accent. So I'm 31 by 31. Oh, you mean that would look nice like down the shore, Kristen? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, absolutely. But I'm just picturing it like on a nice sunny kitchen. I don't know. I had, isn't that weird where my mind went? And a bowl of lemons. A and bowl of lemons. <laughs> and if, if everybody watches Housewives of. Um, and a white bowl with lemons. Um, who's Kevin Martin? OC. She believes in seven lemons yes. in a bowl because it brings you good luck. Okay, so it has to be seven lemons in the bowl on the tablecloth. With that tablecloth. With that tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> so, number 139, 31 by 31, $6. Yeah, I want a piece. I'll measure my kitchen table, Jimmy. I need, I need a piece. Because <laughs> I do have a galvanized tray that I do for summer that I put lemons in, and I have a sign that says Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. So that's going to be... Could I do one table topper and one double piece? What size? It's 35 by 35, Kristen. So you would want 60 by uh, 70 by, it's 67 inches it's wide? 67, yeah. It, the width of the fabric is 67. So as wide as I can go is 67. Food for thought. You can, you can message me later. All right, and then this is all. This is the same topper, punchkin, but this is gold and cream. So it's a thirty-one by thirty-one, number one forty, and is six dollars. You know what I had? I had Chinese food the other day. I haven't had Chinese food in forever. Forever. So, okay, you let me know, Kristen. Um. 
I found out that they don't do delivery anymore. Oh. It's all through DoorDash. So that, that guy that was delivering for them for years doesn't deliver for them anymore. Oh, that's sad. I don't know. Maybe he moved away or something, you know. But, yeah, I was, up, I was sad for him. But they moved. Remember, they moved to a new location. But yeah. I haven't had Chinese food in so long. It tasted so good. So good. <laughs> it, like, satisfied my Chinese food urge for a while. <laughs> All right. This is Eudine 14 Count. This is an antique white piece. This is a 28 by 28. By number 141, $6. And I have three of these. See, aren't you glad you snuck a pea, Kristen? It was worth the wait, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about that. And you know how long I've seen that fabric? That's the worst part. It wasn't until you held it up and I saw it in its entirety that I got inspired. It's weird how the mind works sometimes. Game time. Oh, it's game time. And All right. With a basket. We got a Bunny in a basket and bunnies in the garden. Pattern in order for you. To get that, we have to solve another trivia question. And it's about food. And it's this is probably easy. What two words were combined to make the word spam? First person to get that correct wins a bunny basket and a chart. And just so you know, it's not the spam from email. Oh yes, it's food. <laughs> it's the food spam. <laughs> The stuff that mom used to fry up in the frying pan. I used to eat it with mustard. Me too. Yeah, yeah. mustard. Because it was like a hot dog to me or bologna. That's what it reminded me of. My bologna has a first name. Spice ham. You yes. got it, Christine. Yeah. Spice ham. Congratulations. But you didn't finish my song. My bologna has a first name. It's O-S-P-A-R. <laughs> Spiced ham. Congratulations, Christine. You won the bunny basket and the pattern. That was an easy one. I know. They still make it? Yeah, because it was just a commercial. A commercial don't, for it, too? Yeah. Oh, my to goodness. Don't judge it until you fry it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my mother cooks spam for us, right? Mine, too, is spam. My mom did not because... My grandmother would make it a lot when she was a kid, so she refused does, to eat it. Does he? That's funny. I have not had Spam since I was younger. I, yeah. And when my grandmother would make it for us, it was kind of like a treat because Mommy didn't, didn't make, make it. it. And I enjoyed it because she would fry it, and it was good. <laughs> I have not had it in forever. I don't, you know, I don't know if I can eat it now. And it's funny. So there's things from our childhood, right? My grandmother used to make on the holidays, and I would still eat it, but it was the DAC canned ham. Remember yeah. that, right? Yeah. But ever since I've been married, we make fresh ham. Yeah, we don't do the canned ham. I haven't had, so I haven't had canned ham in a very long time. They have flavors. For Spam? I, it is popular in Hawaii. I did read that, Nicole, somewhere. Flavors for Spam? You have to enlighten us, oh Denise, and tell us what kind of flavors for Spam they have now, because I am intrigued. <laughs> I can't believe they have flavors. Is it like barbecue or spicy or, you know, because it's even though it's spiced ham, it only, it's not spicy ham. I need to know. Tell me more. Oh, and there's Shane calling me. Huh. Have Shane calling you. <laughs> All right, number 142, Jan Hicks Creates. This is Stitch Happiness. This is $12. These are my newbies. You have to come in my house for this one. Oh, pot stickers, Laura? My favorite. And I have to have like a sweet <laughs> sauce, like a sweet Szechuan sauce. Oh, not too spicy. They have spicy and bacon flavored. Well, isn't ham and bacon? Sort of the same thing, <laughs> in in essence. That is interesting. I'm didn't they used to have like cheese or something in there too or something? In what? Spam. Oh no, I didn't do that. Or hot? No, the hot dogs. They had cheese in hot dogs. Yeah, that. Ew, I, I couldn't eat that. Either. No, I didn't. We put it. Nope. Grandma used to wrap the hot dog in cheese. Oh, for okay. Us. Yeah. But you know that hot dogs from Philly Pretzel Factory that come in the pretzels, those yeah. have a special cheese in there, and I'll eat that. I can't do hot dogs and cheese, but spicy and bacon. 
Hmm. Very interesting. So number 142, $12. But I haven't had it in forever. I think I'm going to have to buy a can just so I can try it again. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have to. My grandmother was big on the Vienna sausages. Yeah, She liked those too. Vienna sausages in a can. He never calls me <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we text all the time. Stitch Happiness, $12, number 142. I am going to have to check that out, Denise. Thank you for sharing. Number 143, La-di-da, Needle Book, Needle Book, $16, number 143. So you made your own Chinese food, Laura. Hmm. I'm not cooking Chinese food whatsoever, but pot stickers, those are my favorite. Was it chicken or vegetable or pork? I'm asking like, because I'm hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> Number 143, la-di-da, needle book, needle book. I think I am going to, next time I go shopping, I'm getting a can of spam. We have to give it a second chance. Number 144, this is Monticello Stitches Forever with the Lord, $18. Oh, plush and veggie, Laura. My goodness. Oh, well, then I'm glad we had it for you. <laughs> Number 144, Forever with the Lord, $18. Oops. Uh, we... White Castle is right outside the, the store here, which is dangerous. But it, we don't get it that often. It's been a couple months since we've had White Castle. I get a stomach ache. Yeah. So I can't I can't do that very often. I guess I've reached that age where my stomach <laughs> can't tolerate it. <laughs> but I don't really eat the burgers. You like I'll the chicken wings? I, yeah, I like the chicken wings. They have good mozzarella <laughs> sticks, too. I like their mozzarella sticks. They have cake on a stick there, too. <laughs> I've never had it. Oh, they closed one. Now the one out here is still open. There's one here and there's one down in Linden that's still open. Around here, anyway. Monticello Stitches Love One Another, $18. They're, yeah, their fries are good. Okay, so here's a question that everybody can answer if you want. Do you like to dip your fries in ketchup or do you like to, to put the ketchup on your fries? I like when they're on. So there was a there was a Chinese food place that we used to go to lunch. This is when back when me and Kevin were dating, um, and we would order there for lunch. But they would put ketchup on the fries in the styrofoam container. So when I got the fries, everything was kind of like all congealed together, and it was because it was warm in there and hot from the fries. Oh, it was so yummy! I <laughs> dip dip no ketchup at all. You know, you know what I've gotten hooked on dipping my fries in is ranch dressing or ranch dip or whatever. Oh my gosh, it is so yummy. Have you guys tried that? Ketchup on the fries. See, yeah, I do them both ways. It depends on where I go and how messy I want to be. <laughs> As if I get one of those wooden forks, Jim. Oh. <laughs> the white cast, the white diamond by us has the wooden forks. Ranch dip, right? Yeah, ranch. That's my new favorite thing is the ranch. Red Robin, their steak fries with their ranch dip. Okay, I'm really, really hungry, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop talking about food. Um, Fern Ridge Collections. These are cute little kits that they have. So this is a scissor fob kit. Um, it comes with all the beads and your needles and everything you need, your finishing instructions to be able to, to make this. So this is called Spring Flowers and is mixed ketchup and ranch together. <gasps> I've never done that before. We dipped our fry. Yeah, that was the thing in the shakes. I know. I never did that, though. Or in the Frosties at Wendy's, right? Dream fries at the Cottage Creek. Oh, I have no idea where that is, Kelly. So we, when I, we come down that way, you'll have to tell me, tell me where it is so I need to get them. Uh, spring flowers, cute little scissor fob bead kit. Like it comes with everything you need. We have ranches. I've gotten so addicted to ditching, dipping in ranch. One forty six, sixteen ninety five. 
Jim likes to dip everything in different things. Yeah, I, like I dip like everything I eat. I dip in something. Mm -hmm. What was the one we had at? Um, oh, we used to go to the dine-in restaurant way before COVID, and they had that queso blanco cheesy dip. Remember that? Yeah. It was so good. I used to eat McDonald's. I love to dip the chicken nuggets and the hot sauce and the ranch. <gasps> but Chase actually asked me that when we were Shane and I were having dinner. Mm -hmm. He said, Jim, why do you? Put all your food in something. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good in something. Because I was eating a nacho and I put it in the salsa. <laughs> and, he, and the face he was making while I was eating it, it, like was, it was total disgust. Both of my boys do not dip. They do not dip in anything. So while all. he was watching me eat it, I said to him, I said, if you try this right now, I will give you $25. We know what his response was. That's, if you give me 50. Yeah, yeah. He up the, he up the, st up the stakes. <laughs> and he's seven. <laughs> um, this is Spring Angel. This is a whole nother kit as well. This comes with all the fabric, the ribbons, the threads, the beads, the charms. You can get everything you need. These are complete kits. There's a cute little sachet to make, finishing instructions and everything. So it's number 147 and is $33.95. Spring Angel. I've gotten to like, um, I'm not usually a dipper, but I've gotten more adventurous, like coconut shrimp in a sweet kind of mango sauce is really good. Like I've gotten, I've broadened my horizons with my dips. I, I've never used to be a dipper, but I, I have, I have gotten better and, and <laughs> branched out a little bit. So we had a friend who used to dip French fries and mayonnaise. Remember yeah. our friend? And we made fun of her back then, and now we dip in ranch dressing. So, but, And I actually did by mistake. Mayonnaise? Because I was having a BLT. And remember? Oh, you did, I yeah. meant to put the mayo on my BLT. Not and the BLT, you, my turkey sure. club. And I accidentally put my fry in it. And it wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. <laughs> no. but, but we do ranch dressing now. So, yeah. like, now, like, she was she was ahead of the time yeah. then. Uh, this is, that was the sachet book, or sachet bag. This is the scissor fob that goes along with it so this is spring angel scissor fob with all these beads all that is included plus your finishing instructions and you can finish this adorable scissor fob so this is number 148 and it's 39.95 these are really cute number 148 Number 149 is a needle case band, uh, band. So this comes with a needle case, but what you're actually finishing in beads is the band that goes around it, but it does come with the needle case, but what you're finishing are, is around. And this is hair pins, number 149, and is $37.95. I've had ketchup and sour cream together. And that's yeah. not bad. Because Ruby Tuesdays used to have cheese fries. And they, they used to do the ranch and the sour cream. That was horrible. I liked doing that. Eh, it's gotten better. Okay. All right. What's this, Jim? That's that 18 count honeycomb. Honeycomb. And they haven't made that color or the fabric in years and years. So this is just a one yard cut. It's not an Afghan size or anything. Yeah, so it's, it's slightly a, below. So it's 36 by 55 inch. So this is honeycomb afghan in the color white, even though it's polyacrylic, so it has like an off-white tint, but it's white. $12, number 150, and we have three of these. Can't find these anywhere. They're just long gone discontinued. What count was the honey? 18. 18 count. So number 150, $12, one yard cut of honeybee in... Uh, white. Now I want McDonald's too. <laughs> so, all this talk of food. And I did eat. I shouldn't really be hungry. I did eat dinner. Well, I had like a very late lunch. Um, this is Merino. This is 11 count. This is antique white. It's this a wool. This is a wool, merino wool afghan, 11 count, and it is, is this a 
Michael Afkian? Yeah. So this banding, is that a different count to stitch? Can you stitch in there? You can, I'm sure. Um, it was mostly a stitching was done. So this is 11 count merino. It has squares for stitching. Can you see there's like a band here that makes the squares? That is the last official one. This is the last one. <laughs> this is number 151. This is wool and it's $12. Number 151, $12 merino wool 11 count afghan. It. That's the last one on that one. Number 152, piece of damask. Uh, this is just for, for backing. You can make it stitchable, but it's not stitchable. Um, it's this is in um, ivory. It's a cotton yarn. And again, we have that one on the bolt too. That if somebody wanted a larger cut, we can. So do this that. is 18 by 35. Number 152, and it's a dollar fifty for the piece. How big was 150? 150 is one is one yard size, Denise. Sure. It's a one yard cut, so it's 36 by 55. And this is 18 by. This is just a patterned fabric. Number 152, a dollar fifty. Just a few more. Yep. A couple more things for you. Here's some special priced. Um, some more Zweigert leaflets. These are smaller book leaflets. This one is only twenty dollars. I mean, two dollars, not twenty dollars. And this has all different herbs and plants, flowers, vegetables. So this book is number one fifty three and is two dollars. Number one fifty three, and that is two dollars. Two dollars. Number one fifty four is another Swigert booklet. This is called Modern Style. I'll show you the front. Modern Style. This is different. I've never seen anything like that before. The bag that I just showed you on the back it does come with a big pullout pattern. That's $2. That's number 154. Normally $8.50. Only $2. Number 154. Number 155, another Zweiger leaflet. This is candy and sweets. This is $3. Just cute little cupcake patterns. Then there's macaroons and jar. You could put banding around jar. All these cute little patterns. Very cute. So this is number 155 and is $3. Lollipops, even. Gummy bears. This is very cute. Donuts. Number 155, $3. Number 156, this is called Springtime, and this is $2. So this has cute little finishes. Hello. That's on that. This is on Lugana 32 count, the daisy fabric. Yeah. We have that fabric. Um, here's some more designs that are included. This one is $2. This is number 156, $2. Number 157, this is called Welcome. Actually, no, this is called Cuisine. I was reading what was on the thing. This is all different 
kitchen themed designs. What is this stiff cane? Oh, it's the bug house cane. This could be some cane I might need for it too. And there was a coffee cup in here, which I didn't see it on the front. coffee design right here. This is what it looks like. I like that. Is that the color? Oh, there it is. There's the stitch right there. So this is number 157 and this one is $3. Number 157. $3. Number 158. This is called Mix and Match. So this is, looks seems like it has different um, applique, cross stitch, different techniques in here. So 158 is $4 and we only have four. It looks like it's applying different techniques. It has a lot of pullouts for instructions. So 158 and it's four dollars and we have four of them. Mix and match this one is called. Number 159, this is called Festival or Animals um, and is four dollars. So it's a cute little fox, a deer, a wolf. Oh, oh my goodness. How cute. Can you see all these cute little animals? Well, they are adorable. Oh, look at. Oh my gosh, they are just too cute. And then there's some owls and other animals in here. So this is very cute. Look at how cute they are. Oh, you can even make a quilt too gives you quilting instructions. It's pretty cool. So that's $159 and that's four dollars. Number 160 is called Creative Deco. This is four dollars. Creative Deco. Oh there's some pretty designs in here. You never know what's in these books. You really got to look because they don't really show you everything on the outside. Look how pretty that is. That's really pretty. Those colors. Look at those colors. So this is number 160 and that's four dollars. We have five of this one. Number 160. Like I would have preferred to see one of these other stitched ones on the cover yeah. than this. Like, that's really pretty. This this actually reminds me of, like, um, Indian-inspired with the colors and, right, doesn't it? It's very, it's kind of Indian-ish. Yeah. I really like that. Number 160. 161 is Little Baby. Little Baby. Number 161 has different baby motifs, more alphabets. Oh, that one's cute with little animals and all different uh, little motifs on the letters. Very cute. So that's 161. That's four dollars. We only have four. Number 161. And these are newer books too. Um, yeah, these are these are newer, you know, a couple years, but they're the newer Zwager books. Number 162, this is called Road Trip. Road Trip. I like showing you what's on the inside so you can 
Hey, I had somebody looking for an RV. I'll have to show her that one. Road trip, Fiesta, Via Mexico. That's pretty. Different. Stitch around the world. I like that. Camping, mountains. So this is one sixty two and this is three dollars. Number one sixty three, this is called Bloomy. This is called Bloomy. They actually made a lampshade out of the 32 count. <laughs> <laughs> they did look, they made a lampshade out of the 32 count Lagana Daisy. Or Murano, I should say. Huh. That was different, wasn't it? They actually give you quite more information in these booklets. You see that? Yeah. They give you. They they're, they're, yes, they are designed very nicely these new books I actually must say so that's number 163 and that's four dollars I like that one number 164 is baby Ada some more baby motifs do you still have that fabric yes you do Baby motifs. Some more alphabets. A cute little baby family tree. So that's very cute. One sixty four, and this one is four dollars. Which you don't see. One sixty four, and that's four dollars. All right, next up we have Oslo, which is, is a discontinued fabric. This is in the color Evening Rose. This is an 18 by 33 inch piece, normally $12.95, special price of $7.50 each. Oslo, this is another very popular hard anger fabric, uh, but they don't make it anymore. So this is Evening Rose, 18 by 33 inch piece, $7.50, number 165. Number 166 is heart side. These are um, pillow cuts. Let me open it so you can see the size. So this is a pillow cut. You can stitch in here and then finish it as a pillow or just frame it as well. You could frame it. We frame pieces like this. Uh, so this is heart side, 14 count. This is the light green and beige. Um, this is $2, number 166. I only have one left in this color. Number 166. Heart side, 14 count, light green and beige, $2. Only have one left on this one. Oh, my nose got itchy. Number 167. This is the dark green and beige pillow cut. Also $2. We have eight of this one. So number 167. This is number 167. Two dollars. Dark green and beige heart side. Pillow cut. Number one sixty eight is the blue and beige pillow cut. Seven dollars. I'm sorry. Number one sixty eight. Two dollars. We have seven of them. Blue and beige. Pillow cut. Number 168. Number 169. This one's pretty. We only have two of this one. This is gold and beige. This is metallic gold and beige. Also $2. We only have two. See the metallic gold? That's very pretty for a Christmas design. Number 169. Or even like a 50th wedding anniversary. 
only have two. Number 169, $2. And then number 170 is just solid beige. We have four of these, $2. This is just solid, solid beige on beige. We have four. Almost done, guys. Just a few more items. Um, this is Summer Memories. This is by It's So Emma. Interior quilts and quilting and cross stitch. Quilting and cross stitch in this book. So the quilting. And then she has more quilting. And there's little cross yeah, there's stitches littles in here too. All these littles let's go on the back so i can get a better picture so this is cross stitch and quilting so this is number 171 and this is 25 dollars summer memories number 171 25 dollars number 172 it's a little stitch girl is that so emma or that's stitch? it's so emma yeah Little Stitch Girl Garden Social. This is $18. I'm going to go in close so you can see. Garden Social. It's a little hard to see. One uh, flower seeds garden, harvest green thumb, plants, water grow bloom. So that's number 172, and that's $18. Right. Little Stitch Girl. Number 173, Kesslin's. This is called Faith. It's $10.50. Number 173, Faith by Kesslin's. One seventy four by Kesslin's. This is called Fresh Spring, fourteen ninety five. Another alphabet. I love alphabets. Number one seventy four, Fresh Spring, fourteen ninety five. And then our last one for tonight is the Nebby Needle. You got this. Six ninety five, number one seventy five. You got this. All right, we have one more trivia for you tonight. This is for the stand up. The boy bunny. The boy and the bunny, leaflet. and he has the shovel. The other one was a basket. This guy has the shovel. You also get the bunnies and the garden leaflet. Mm -hmm. And one more trivia question for you for tonight. First person to guess it correctly is going to win. Uh, some bands share a name with food. Which band named after a food stuff has sold the most records? Now, there's one that tops, and there's one that is very, very close. But according to my trivia, one beat the other. So what band would that be? First person gets to win this cute little bunny with his shovel and the it's not meatloaf meatloaf was the close second carol there is one more that beat them or beat him first another food type band meatloaf was the close second what other food stuff Name band. I don't know how many there are. I never really put much thought into it. How many are, have like food names? You got it, Fran. Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Congratulations. It is the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Congratulations to you. Let me just write this. Congratulations. Down. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Stay tuned for updates when our next live will be. We're, so we're going to be alternating between... Oh, Black Eyed Peas. That was a good one, too, Debbie. Yeah. I didn't think of them. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we have, I have to think, I have to think there's more cool thorns out there. Um, but stay tuned. We're going to announce some more of our uh, lives. We're going to be alternating between Thursdays and Fridays. Um, so that'll be more information to come. Um, but again, if you, this is your first time tonight, please make sure you private message us your email address and your shipping address, and we will um, take care of that for you. You guys can watch. Um, it's okay. No worries. You can watch later. And again, everybody that places an order tonight is going to get a free chart, poppies and polka dots by Jeanette Cruz Doug, uh, Designs and four seasonal designs. They're not, it says full of a bag, but they're not, you can stitch them on anything. So again, anybody that orders tonight or off of this live will get these um, two patterns free as well. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. We hope you had a good time. Hope we made you laugh. Hope we made you smile while you're stitching the night away. Um, but we appreciate all of you, and thank you again so much. Thank you very much. And stay tuned. We'll, we'll have uh, let you know what's coming up next. So take care, everybody, and happy stitching. Happy stitching. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> Flip-flops are on, by the way. <laughs> take care, everybody. Have a good night. Bye.